Welcome to Mojo Plays, and today we're taking a look at what your favorite Resident Evil game probably says about you and your gaming habits. Just keep in mind, this is all in good fun. No harsh judgments here. Maybe. Come on! Before we begin, we publish new videos all week long, so be sure to subscribe to Mojo Plays and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. Resident Evil. Stop it! Don't open that door! But Chris is... What is it? For some, it can be hard to go back to a time where mechanics weren't exactly refined. But for you, you see it differently. This was a time when Resident Evil was truly something special that few ever played. Back when gaming was sort of this niche hobby and not so mainstream. You're probably also some kind of maniac who will defend tank controls until the bitter end, even though you know it's blasphemous. God help you if Capcom ever decides to finally remake the very first game. Jill, here's a lockpick. It might be handy if you, the master of unlocking, take it with you. Resident Evil 2. Loving Resident Evil 2 more than any other game in the franchise can mean one of two things. On one side of the coin, you're a simp for Leon or Claire, or maybe both. On the other side, you enjoyed exploring a desolate police station that reveals some kind of conspiracy behind an evil corporation performing experiments underneath. You may also just enjoy all the crazy ideas between Mr. X stalking you around every corner, and how hunters were an immediate cause for panic whenever they spawned, or perhaps you've been to a police station several times in your real life and felt cozy playing RE2, in which case, we have some questions for you. Man, what a mess! Resident Evil 3 Nemesis Okay, we've got to get out of here. What? What do you think you're talking about? We all know why you love this game. It's just a simp over Jill Valentine. You're not wrong for doing so, we just hope it's healthy simping, and not anything to do with Nemi's wrist tentacle. But in all seriousness, you might be the kind of player that enjoys horror games that make you feel like you're in danger. You enjoy being the prey, and having that extra level of challenge and trying to make the most of what little defense you have. If that's the case, have you given Clock Tower 3 or the Silent Hill games a try? Resident Evil Code Veronica. Your identification number is WKD4496. Welcome to your new home. When looking at the RE fanbase as a whole, the diehard Code Veronica fans are the hipsters of the bunch. These are the folks that go against the grain and try to champion the things they find truly special. However, some of this tunnel vision might cause you to obfuscate its glaring flaws or even the special aspects about the mainline RE games. There is something envious about this level of passion, but at some point we have to wonder how much of this birthed from the desire to give Claire her own mainline game. Resident Evil Survivor, and Resident Evil Dead Aim. Though I can't remember anything, I know that this was no way for anyone to die. If you're walking around saying Survivor or Dead Aim are your favorite Resident Evil games, then you need to be prepared for a few things. One, you are going to get weird reactions from diehard fans who will start questioning your fandom. Two, you will probably be immediately dismissed as a House of the Dead fan who has infiltrated the Capcom waters. And three, you will be mocked for enjoying two games that most of the fanbase find to be some of the worst games in the franchise. You have problems. You need to give us answers. You're going to pay for what you've done. Resident Evil Gaiden. Much like with Survivor and Dead Aim, your fellow RE fans might determine the kind of person you really are the second you say, Gaiden is my favorite RE game. You might be asked if you have played any of the other games, if you owned any other console besides a Game Boy Color, and or when you were dropped on your head as a child. Regardless of what answer you give, you might be trebucheted into Capcom's offices for further interrogation. Resident Evil Zero. They were good men just doing their jobs, and that scum murdered them and escaped. We can understand why someone would enjoy RE Zero over the other games. Loneliness can elevate tension in horror games, and RE Zero kind of mitigates that feeling entirely. 
Since you control both Rebecca and Billy, it never really feels like you're alone, so you might be the kind of player who enjoys a scary game, but only when you're in the presence of good company. And that is totally fair and valid. Horror isn't for everybody. Just let us know if you prefer Huggies or Pampers. Please respond. Rebecca, I can hear you. Now listen up. Resident Evil HD. What is this place? Not quite your ordinary house, that's for sure. By saying REHD is your favorite game in the franchise, you're not only making a safe choice, you may also be igniting a war between you and the RE1 purists. Don't let that deter you, though. REHD was one of the best games on the GameCube, and the uncanny visuals add to the humor and horror of the original story. Just be mindful that you may come across some elitism between those who played the original game, those who played on GameCube, and those who played on modern hardware. Y'all got some problems you need to work out amongst yourselves. Resident Evil Outbreak. Are you all right? You are one of the oddballs of the RE community and probably in many other communities. We can understand why you might enjoy Outbreak more than the others. Perhaps you've played too much of the mainline games and you got bored of the same rigmarole. So Outbreak was the Chocomilla mix you needed with its own cast and mechanics. We get it and we wish more would enjoy Outbreak on the same level as you. Resident Evil 4 If you enjoy RE4 more than any other game in the franchise, well, you are very much not alone. This is a game that is beloved by millions of people both in and outside the RE fanbase, and it's easy for anyone to find enjoyment in it. It can be scary, it can be funny, and most of the time, it offers dumb fun with its mechanics and physics. You are very much someone who loves a diverse toy box where everything can do something with each other in different ways, like shooting a stick of dynamite in a villager's hand, or suplexing an infected villager so hard their head explodes. Also, you're probably a true psychopath and get genuine enjoyment at a bingo. Got something that might interest you. Resident Evil Deadly Silence. A fourth faction has unknowingly entered the RE1 war. There aren't many of them, but those who name Deadly Silence as their favorite carry a couple of assumptions about them. The first one is you must have been glued to your DS so much that you didn't even know home consoles existed. The second assumption is you just enjoyed the local multiplayer with a friend. Both are fine reasons to love this game, but you might have to make friends with the Gaiden fans and the Gaiden fans only. Resident Evil 5 We can definitely see why someone might say RE5 is their favorite game in the franchise, but it may not be for the same kinds of reasons why fans of the other games love those other games. Much of the satisfaction of RE5 is in playing through the game with a friend. Playing alone is frustrating because of Sheva's god-awful AI, it's total garbage. The other enjoyment folks will find in RE5 is just the sheer ridiculousness on display and reliving the memes all over again. You know, the boulder punching, the seven minutes is all I can spare to play with you line. Spamming, come on, come on, or give me an egg. RE5 is, in other words, for the meme lords, and the buddy comedy fans, and the people who just like to annoy others with memes relentlessly. It's a great game, but uh, some of you like this for very different reasons. Do I sense concern? The plan is in its final stages. I will not tolerate delays. <laughs> Resident Evil The Mercenaries 3D Good. Now go and find all the other markers. If you love this 3DS spin-off, you won't be looked at as harshly by other RE fans. Maybe. You were probably the kind of player that values gameplay the most and couldn't care anything regarding any kind of story, presentation, atmosphere, or anything else. You are here for a satisfying combat system and to play for a high score whether it's your own or someone else's. So long as you know you're missing out on what makes Resident Evil what it is, then by all means, you do you. Resident Evil 6 We know some of you are out there, somewhere. There is a group of RE fans who swear that RE6 was not as bad as everyone makes it out to be. 
and it is probably the best game in the whole franchise. But we know you're out there, even though you don't talk. This section of the community chooses to remain silent and hide in the shadows because they know, they all know, that even RE5 fans will break out their pitchforks upon hearing this. They don't even breathe when in the presence of older fans from the PS4 and N64 days, and it's because they all know that it's heresy to say RE6 is worth any kind of love whatsoever. Maybe for the Leon campaign, but everything else is a no, not when only a fraction of the game is genuinely decent. You always gotta be suspicious of the quiet ones, just saying. It can't be real! Resident Evil Revelations It's been 94 minutes since Chris and Jessica dropped off the radar. But the interpolation from their last known coordinates puts them right here on this ship. It is kind of hard to judge anyone who loves Revelations. Yeah, the story could get a little weird at times, but for the most part, this game was damn good. For those who choose this over every other RE title, it isn't a bad choice, but we have one question. Do you enjoy horror games and movies that take place underwater? Do you have some morbid curiosity about the monsters that lurk deep in the abyss of the ocean? You do know that humans don't belong in the water, right? Well, if the underwater setting had nothing to do with your love for this game, then you're just probably somebody who spent way too much time on their 3DS. Copy that. I'll radio you of Chris's trail. Resident Evil Revelations 2. Oh, Claire, I just want to go home. It's okay. We're gonna get out of here. Those who love Revelations 2 the most are some kind of weird hybrid between the Revelations fanbase and the Mercenaries 3D crowd. You probably didn't enjoy this game for the story or even its puzzles. You probably enjoyed it for the replayability and trying to shoot for higher ranks in the main story and post-game modes. That isn't a bad thing necessarily, we just want what's best for you, so... So if you really want to be a hardcore fan of Revelations 2, well, so be it. Your parents might be disappointed. You did your homework. What other horrible invasions of privacy have you gotten there? Hey, I gotta look out for TerraSafe. We have our enemies. Resident Evil 7 Biohazard. I told you to get out! It's mine! If RE7 was your favorite game, you were probably a fan of other survival horror games before this one. You perhaps started with Amnesia, or Alien Isolation, or Dying Light, or some other game. This was the first time Resident Evil looked appealing to you, and you may have even taken a liking to Ethan Winters. Honestly, you could not have chosen a better time to jump into the franchise, as this was the game that rejuvenated interest in both Capcom and the general public. <laughs> Resident Evil Village The diehard fans of Village are divided into three sections. The first third are the folks who are coming from the previous game and want to see how Ethan Winter's story closes. The second third are RE4 fans who saw traits of RE4 in Village and wanted to see how Capcom approached this setting a second time. As for the remaining third, y'all are weird. These are the vampire mommy simps that made Capcom's marketing team lean super heavy into using Lady Dimitrescu as the game's mascot. Now you all get to decide who is who. You all have fun with that. Resident Evil Reverse. It is one thing to love Gaiden, Mercenaries, or even RE6 more than any other RE game in existence. It's another though, to come out and profess your love for a game like Reverse. At that point, Everyone has the right to start asking if you even like Resident Evil, or even know what it is. Do you know what Resident Evil is? Do you have any idea what this franchise is about? Now, don't be scared. You aren't going to get trebucheted into Capcom's offices. Instead, you're going to get trebucheted into space, where no one can hear your fake opinion. So cool. Maybe you'll be allowed back to Earth if you can prove Pluto is inhabited by aliens, and then, Upon your return, you can tell us all about how they love Reverse just like you do. The Remakes Copy that. I'm glad you're okay. 
If the remakes for RE2, 3, or 4 are your favorites, well, let us end things here by saying, welcome to the Resident Evil community. We have hot sandwiches, big hulking best friends, and an assortment of sexy authority figures from the police, military, and hospital for you to simp over. Things have been perfect since the series started in 1996, and we've never had a crappy multiplayer spinoff or some garbage PvP game aimed at esports players. We are the perfect community, and we are so glad you have joined us for the ride. Now, tell us why you think Leon and Jill are the best video game characters ever made. My name's Leon. I'm here in the President's quarters, and... That one, well... And while you're at it, tell us down in the comments below which Resident Evil game is your favorite. No, 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 don't be scared, don't be ashamed. What was that? Chris? No. Go ahead, let us know down in the comments below, and be sure to subscribe to Mojo Plays for more great videos every day, assuming the other fans don't get to you.